Going to India? Have you heard of these Indian languages before? Welcome to languagesunlimited.com. A world of languages, unlimited understanding. Please share this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel and YouTube. We welcome your likes on Facebook, comments, and suggestions. Are you planning to travel to India? Well, it always helps to know a few of the languages spoken in a foreign country. The same goes for Indian languages. India and its languages. India has over 700 languages, making it the country with the second largest number of languages in the world, next to Papua New Guinea, which has more than 800. And of these 700 languages, 22 are considered major languages. Of these 22 major languages, two are chosen as the official language of the central government. These are Hindi, which is the official language of the central government. English, which is the provisional official sub-language. Speaking English is not enough. You might think that being an English speaker is enough to travel in India. After all, it's almost always the case that you'll find people who speak English in a foreign country. It's also the language of most businesses and officials. But there are literally millions of Indians that speak another language, and it might be challenging to communicate properly if you're not at least familiar with these languages. We're going to talk about the most widely used languages in India as well as the locations where they are dominant to help you prepare for your Indian travel. You might have heard of some of these languages, but we're pretty sure you're going to find one or two languages you haven't heard of before. So, without further ado, let's start. Hindi 528 million With 528 million speakers, Hindi is the most widely spoken language in India. Along with English, it's the official language of the government. It's also used in nearly all Indian states, including Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Bihar, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Delhi. Around the world, Hindi ranks among the fourth most widely spoken language, just next to Mandarin, Spanish, and English. When studying Hindi, you might get confused because of the dialects. Any Hindi English interpreter will tell you that Hindi is pretty much a rubric for these dialects. The key is getting started. It's better to learn Hindi online or face to face before you start your Indian adventure. Bengali 97 million. Bengali is India's second most spoken language, with 97 million speakers, or 8.03% of the whole population. It's one of the official languages of the West Bengal state, and it's also spoken in Jharkhand, Assam and Tripura. Around the world, Bengali is also spoken by people in the Middle East, Japan, the UK, Canada, and America. If you're planning a multi-country Asian trip, you'll find Bengali to be a useful language too. This language originated as a secular language of the Indo-Aryans, but it was then influenced by Arabic and Persian. Similar to Hindi, the pronunciation, words, and usage of Bengali vary in different Indian states. Marathi 83 million. There are more than 83 million speakers of the Marathi language in India, making it one of the languages with the largest number of native speakers right after Bengali and Hindi. That's 6.86% of the population. Marathi is spoken mainly in the western part of India, including in the states of Goa and Maharashtra. Some parts of Gujarat and Karnataka, two neighboring states, also have a large number of Marathi speakers. Learning Marathi, you'll notice that it borrows some influences from foreign languages such as Persian, Arabic, and English. European languages, such as French, Spanish, and Portuguese, also contributed to the development of the Marathi language. Telugu 81 million. Telugu has 81 million speakers in India. Learning it would be highly beneficial since it's the most widely spoken Dravidian language in India and around the world. It's the official language in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Yanam. What makes it even more important is the fact that it's one of the few languages that are considered official languages by more than one state. Others with the same status are Hindi, Bengali, and Urdu. Telugu is also widely spoken in other places such as Andaman and Nicobar Island, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Odisha, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. Around the world, 
Telugu is spoken by people in countries like the United States, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. Tamil 69 million. Tamil has 69 million speakers in India, and it's a widely spoken language in Singapore and Sri Lanka. Tamil is unique in that it's among the oldest languages to exist in the world. Its roots are associated with Dravidian origin, while the Tamil literary tradition has been going for more than 2,000 years. Two of the earliest manuscripts in India were, as a matter of fact, written in Tamil. So, it wasn't really surprising that it was the first Indian language the Indian government designated as a classical language. Learning Tamil, therefore, doesn't only improve your journey to India, it also enriches your understanding of the country's history and culture. Tamil is mainly spoken in southern India near the coast of Sri Lanka, but it's also predominantly spoken in Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Malaysia and Mauritius. Gujarati, 55 million. Next in the list is the Gujarati language, which boasts 55 million speakers, mostly in the state of Gujarat but also in other territories. It's an Indo-Aryan language that's already more than 700 years old. Outside the state of Gujarat, Gujarati is spoken in many parts of South Asia, thanks to Gujarat diaspora. Gujarati is currently growing rapidly in Canada and the United States, while it's the fourth most commonly spoken language in London, UK. Other places that also speak Gujarati include Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia and South Africa. Gujarati language is also present in some parts of Hong Kong, Indonesia, Australia, Singapore, and some parts of the Middle East. Urdu, 50 million. With 50 million speakers, Urdu is another widely popular Indian language. It ranks as the 21st most spoken language in the world, according to one survey. Another estimate suggests that it's actually the 11th most widely spoken language in the world if we were to add those people who speak it as their second language. It's one of the official languages of West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir and Bihar. Outside India, Urdu serves as the national language, or lingua franca, of Pakistan. Elsewhere, Urdu is spoken by migrant South Asians in major cities around the Persian Gulf. Urdu is also spoken by large numbers of immigrants in the United Kingdom, the United States, Germany, Norway, Canada, Australia and Catalonia. Kannada, 43 million. Kannada is another Dravidian language spoken by around 43 million people. And just like Tamil, Kannada is quite an old language, with an unbroken literary history of more than 1,000 years. So, it's also designated as a classical language of India. Kannada is spoken mainly by people in Karnataka in southwestern India. It's also spoken by people in Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Kerala and Goa. Odia, 37 million. Odia comes along as another classical language. It has 37 million speakers, most of whom are from the Odisha state. It's also spoken in West Bengal, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Andhra Pradesh. Around the world, you can find a considerable number of Odia speakers. It's spoken by a significant number of people in Thailand, Indonesia, the United States, Canada, England, Australia, Burma, Malaysia, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, Fiji and Bangladesh. This means learning this language won't only make your Indian trip better you'll also have the chance to use it in other countries you may visit in the future. Punjabi, 33 million. Punjabi is the native language of Punjab, with 33 million speakers and ranking as the 11th most spoken language in India. If we include other Punjabi speakers in Pakistan and around the world, the total speakers would amount to more than 125 million. Around the world, Punjabi is actually very popular. It's the third most spoken native language in the Indian subcontinent It's the third most spoken language in the United Kingdom, right after British and Polish. It's the fifth most spoken native language in Canada, right after English, French, Mandarin, and Cantonese It's the 26th most spoken language in the United States. 
In Pakistan, Punjabi is the most widely spoken language, since it's the native language of more than 44% of Pakistanis. Meanwhile, in India, it's widely spoken in many major urban centers in the northern part of the country, including Amritsar, Ludhiana, Jalandhar, Ambala, Patiala, Hoshiarpur, Chandigarh and Delhi. We don't know how that sounds to you, but hiring a Punjabi English translator to help you learn Punjabi sounds like a good idea to us. Assamese, 15 million. Assamese is the official language of the Assam state. Around 15 million people speak it, with different variations across regions. While these regional variations can be quite many, they can be grouped into two broad dialects, the Eastern and the Western groups. Recent studies, however, showed that there may actually be four of them, which are Eastern group, the Eastern group is homogeneous and prevalent in and around the Savasagar district. Central group, the central group is spoken in Nagan, Moragan, and Sonitpur districts. Kamrupi group, the Kamrupi group is spoken in Palisberia, Barpisha, Nalberia. Golperia group, the Golperia group is spoken in Gulaya, Karua, and Jarua. Ready for your Indian adventure? Before you pack your bags and start your Indian trip, keep in mind that India is a large country with great diversity. Its languages reflect that diversity. So, learning its languages, no matter how challenging they may be, will help appreciate the country better. A good starting strategy is to learn the basic phrases, greetings, words, and questions first before getting into the more intricate aspects. Start with Hindi, as it's the most widely spoken language there. You may start learning the other languages depending on which state or region you're visiting. Getting ready for your Indian adventure? Start by learning its languages. Good luck! Please remember to subscribe to our channel in YouTube for further video releases. Remember to share and like it on Facebook. Let us know what you think of it and thank you for watching.